You guys have probably seen troops racing before, but you've probably never seen them racing quite like this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2015 Clash Olympics! Yes, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Archer Arena. I am your host, Spencer23, and today it is the Clash Olympics 2015. We're just listening to the Clash Null Anthem, which is Who Do You Think You Are? The winners of these races will be treated to a hog roast. There they are, roasting away, waiting for our runners and riders to arrive and fill their bellies with tasty pork. The winner of the race will receive 1.7 million gold. The king is guarding it. Make sure the audience don't steal any of it. He's excited. Look at him. It's a real event we've got going on here. Now the first race today will be the air race. Let's take a look at some of the people who will be taking part in our race. It is the handicap stake, so this means the races will not be setting off at the same time. The slowest will be going first. Lane four, this is Dave the Dragon. Look his odds, three to one. He is second favorite. He's a movement speed of 16. I don't think he's going to win, but you just never know in a race like this. Also, 3 to 1 is Helga. She's carrying a bit of weight. I don't think she can win this. In fact, I'm surprised she can fly, but you just never know. Up in lane 2, this is Barry, but look at him earlier in practice. Oh my god, how embarrassing. Look at that. Barry, Barry has absolutely no chance. The bookies have got him at half a million to one. But good luck, Barry. This should be very interesting. And in lane one, we have the favourite. This is Maurice. Maurice is an absolute legend around here. Movement speed 32. Can anyone beat him? I don't think so. This is Maurice in his resistance training. Best. Bye. That is absolutely unbelievable. Look at him taking down a town hall all oh, by himself. Gems. One to five. It might be worth a dollar on him. Or 23. So guys, meet us back here in a few minutes when we will be going straight into our first race. The air race. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd are going wild. The atmosphere down here is absolutely electric. There's 10 seconds to go till our first race the air race and look at lane number two that's who will be setting off first i don't think that will be a winner keep an eye on lane one barry's on his way what a terrible start barry is useless helga and dave have got out quite quickly but look at this is morris look at the speed of him i've never seen anything like it before in my life what do they feed him on that's an easy win for morris he's absolutely thrashed the rest of the field wait a minute look Oh dear, there's always one, isn't there? Somebody has invaded the course. This is... Who is this guy? Oh, I think this is a protest. Ladies and gentlemen, I think somebody is protesting. He's protesting the hog roast. He obviously objects to cannibalism. To be honest, I can't say I blame him. But there he is. Morris is the winner. Minion wins. Well done, Morris. That was absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. Barry's come over to congratulate him. Congratulations. Great sportsmanship. Thanks, true friends, true friends, I have to say. And our next race is going to be the men's sprint. I've been waiting for this race all year. This is going to be a really exciting one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've got eight seconds till the men's sprint. Keep an eye on lane three. That is where the action will be. It's Greg the Goblin. We're expecting an easy win for him. And they're off. The Golem has got off to a terrible start. Has he even tried? I don't think he's doing anything. Warbreaker is well in the lead at the moment. Barbarian in lane four. He's rubbish. The Goblin is... He's, he's overtaking him. The Goblin's going to take this. 
goblin, and I'm pretty sure that was a goblin win. Some half-naked lady has run across the course again. This is getting out of control, but that has to be a goblin win. I'm absolutely convinced of it. Let's take a look at the goblin in action. Look at him move. That is absolutely unbelievable. We're waiting for the photo finish here just to see who took that. Yes, it's the Goblin. Greg has won it. We expected him to win. That's won me $500. I can go and get myself a few more gems. I'm running low on gems. I've only got 103 left. So it was nice to have a win. There's our runners and riders so far. Up next, it's going to be the ladies. And apparently we've heard a decree that the king is going to race against the women. We have no idea why. He is a, he's a bit of a dodgy on this guy. Here we go. The king's facing the wrong way. He's, he's taking the mick out of everyone. He's not even set off yet. Here they go. The Valkyrie and the Archer, they're level pegging in the lead. The king, wait a minute, the king's gone wild. He suddenly took a turn of speed. He's catching them up. He's, he's, that, it looks like a draw. How did the king do that? That's unbelievable. The Pekka's come in last. What a waste of time. She needn't have bothered racing today. But the king, that was some Ben Johnson stuff there. Valkyrie wins. The look at the king. I, I'm not sure what is going on. There needs to be an investigation into this race. He thinks he's won. I think he's wrong. Let's take a look at that again. He's toddling along and then he moves into the outside lane. He goes absolutely ballistic. It goes about double speed, flies to the finish, almost overtakes the Archer and the Valkyrie. Here's all of our participants, ladies and gentlemen. They've had such a good day. And as a reward, we are going to send them all into a base to die. Fantastic. So this will be a half camp attack. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this looks like a fantastic base for killing all of our participants. We will try and take down this village using all of today's runners and riders. Not really sure what the strategy should be here other than send everyone. That is what we're going to have to do. Let's have a look around here. What should we do first? I guess the sensible option is to send our golem in first to distract everything. Then we'll get a lady archer in behind. She did well today. I think I may have got my pecker out too early. That's always a problem. But not doing too bad, taking down some of these buildings. Let's get the king out. He, he, he deserves to die after what he did today. I think he cheated. All of our big troops are out now. Need to get rid of this air defense as quickly as possible. Otherwise, it's going to shoot our dragon. It's not very well upgraded. Let's heal everybody. What should we throw in next? Valkyrie, she was one of my favorites. Despite invading the course, she is doing really well. She's taking two once. That is her speciality. Get the balloon and get the healer on the king. And we have basically no troops left. I think we'll save Morris. He was a definite winner today. And he will probably die very quickly. So we need to save him for the very end. King has been zapped by a Tesla. Air sweep has swept the balloon away. The Pekka has gone completely the wrong way. There's nobody on the town hall at the moment. We're going to have to rely on the king to do this. Get a barbarian in to help him. Barbarian was a bit of an anti-climax earlier. Did absolutely nothing. Right, let's get Maurice in. Where should we put him? Um, there is nowhere safe for Morris, I don't think. He's still going to be zapped by the air defense. We'd better save him. Come on, we need this dragon to take down the air defense. King's been exploded by a big bomb, but he's still going. The healer's okay, but as soon as we get in range of this air defense, this healer is going down and the king will be completely unprotected. A wild lightning on the air defense just to try and take it down. Probably not going to work. Dragon is gone. Healer is about to go down. Nobody so far has touched the town hall. How embarrassing. Even though this is a half camp attack, we need someone to hit the town hall. It's definitely not going to be Morris. Let's throw in our secret clan troops directly onto this big bomb. Flippers! Well, that's most of the clan troops dead already, so that didn't work out. I've sent Morris, trying to get him somewhere towards this town hall. It's not going to happen. This is going to be an untouched town hall, I think. What have we got left? Let's look through. Oh, we look at that. We still have Willy. We need to get our Willy out. He needs to attack this town hall. If Willy can hit this town hall, this will be a legendary raid. Here he goes. Come on, Willy. Head for the town hall. He's 
I don't believe it. He's done it. Willie has damaged the town hall. What, what an epic raid that was. Well, I think the winner for today has definitely got to be Willie the Wall Breaker. He comes in at the very end and surprises us all with the secret town hall attack. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do like, comment, and subscribe and share these videos with your friends. Did you predict the winners? I did, because I was in full control of who won. <laughs> but I didn't win any money. There was, there was no money on that race whatsoever. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I'll keep making videos while you keep liking and subscribing. Take care, guys. Send everyone!